guys welcome back to my channel so today i am packing for our trip to toronto and we're going for three weeks so we need quite a bit of stuff but at the same time we're staying at my mom so we have laundry facilities so i can take it a little easy but there are always things that you do need to take especially when you have three young kids today i'm going to show you how i pack first i'm just going to go through each person's closet and get out all the items that i plan to take with us so right now i'm going through shyla's <laughs> pulled out all the clothing so you can see piles of clothing i'm going to start putting them into their packing cubes so here i have my packing cubes i keep them all together i have each packing cube labeled with the names of the person whose clothing is going to be inside and i also have these zip up pouches that says laundry pouches but i use them for various items to keep uh, usually undergarments and small items like that I also have a number of these drawstring bags and these come in very handy for shoes and also comes in handy for wet wear. So if you're going like on a beach vacation, you can put your wet swimming suits and stuff like that. So I love them. And then I discovered Shein bags are great for storing shoes as well. So ever since I got all these Shein bags, I keep these to keep my shoes in. Right now I'm working on Myra's packing cube. So I'm taking all her clothes and I'm folding them in. Quick question, let me know in the comments. Are you a folder or a roller? I tried the rolling method, rolling all my clothing, and I didn't like it, it didn't work out for me, but I am a combination, so I do roll some items, like this legging, it's thin, and if you roll it up, it fits more easily into a corner, but otherwise, I am a folder. So I'm using this Shein bag right now to fit my heels in and these are great honestly if you have these keep them even Pat Pat I believe sends these type of bags keep them with you because they come in handy for so many different things. Before I discovered the Shein bags I used to use drawstring bags to keep all our shoes in so I'm just going to show you how you can use these type of bags as well and like I said these are actually really great for using for wet bathing suits and towels as well if you're going on a beach vacation. Now I'm going to go through my jewelry to see what I want to take with me and I use these little Ziploc crafting bags. This just helps keep all the jewelry separate from one another in the luggage. And now to see what makeup I'm going to take with me. Okay, so I'm pretty much finished. There might be some last minute things I might need to add. For the most part, the bulk of the packing is completely done. I'm gonna go through and show you how I went about and packed everything. We're taking two large suitcases and then two carry-ons. So this is suitcase number one. I have Myra's packing cube here. You can see the label. One side is solid, the other side is mesh, and this is what allows the security x-ray machines to be able to see the contents inside your luggage. So nothing to worry about. I know that is a concern for some people. They don't understand if it will be okay, but these are perfectly safe for traveling. In fact, they're made for traveling, so. And these are my clothes. I have also two packing cubes, and this is one 
Here is one for Myra and then another one for Riza. Now this one doesn't have the mesh side, but it's thin enough that it is able to penetrate through the x-ray machine. Here I have all my makeup and some toiletry items. I don't like to take too much makeup when I travel with everyone. It's just too hard and there's just too much stuff if you try to take everything. Ideally, I would love to take my entire makeup drawer, but that's not realistic. If I was taking toiletries like shampoo, conditioner, gel, gel, things like that, I would be taking travel size ones and then those would also be fitting into this little bag here. And this little white baggie is my hair removal kit. So it has tweezers, a magnified mirror, and my little epilator this thing is awesome in fact i was thinking of doing a giveaway for this so let me know in the comments if you would be interested in something like that this little floral bag has all my jewelry so you can see i use those little ziploc crafting bags to separate all my jewelry so that none of it tangles up with one another these can be found in any dollar store i got them from dollarama but i'm pretty sure you can buy it at many other places and they come in handy for many things these little laundry pouches came with my packing cubes and uh, I find them very useful for multiple things. So in this one, I have all our little hair accessories. I found this set to go at Dollarama as well. And these are like those little rubber bands and they I use them mostly for Myra, but I also use them in Shyla's hair when I'm doing something intricate. So I love those. And then there's like just a little flower clip, some hair bands. And then I also have... Um, this little bag was actually from our wedding. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of fading, but that's like our wedding date. And this had like little candies and stuff. I know it's very old school now, but when we got married, it was pretty nice. And I keep bobby pins and uh, things like that in here. So this little laundry pouch is also going inside the floral bag. And then I have those little Ziploc bags again with some safety pins. And then I have a larger laundry pouch, which I'm keeping all of our extra masks in. So that was for one side and now I'm just unzipping the back side to show you what's behind here. I have Myra's pull-ups plus some overnight diapers for her to wear. If you're going to a place where you have stores available to buy diapers, I recommend taking less. I'm taking more, but that's just because I have them on hand and I have the space capacity. But if you are struggling with the weight limitations, uh, I would suggest just taking half of what I'm taking here and then going to a store like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, if you're going to the US, wherever, and just grab some more while you're there. So you just don't have to worry about it. There's just an extra outfit for me over here, which was an afterthought, which is why it's not in the packing cubes. And then I have a snowsuit for Myra because we are going to be doing some outdoor stuff and I want to make sure that she is nice and warm. My favorite drawstring bags, <laughs> I will talk about these again. Uh, you can also use them for your undergarments like I am using here. So all my undergarments and stuff are in this little bag. So that's it for suitcase number one and this weighs around 42 pounds right now. This is suitcase number two, and this has mostly Akil's items in it right now. Now this one is not fully packed because Akil is coming to Toronto a week after us. So I'm just packing a few items in here of ours that I know I don't really need the first week. And then when he comes next week after he finishes up working, then he will bring this one with him. So this mostly has his items. So drawstring bag with his undergarments, plus his packing cubes, Shyla's heels. I don't need this until after he arrives. So I'm sticking these in here as well. And then of course he's going to add in his own shoes and his own toiletries and stuff into this suitcase. Okay, so moving on to carry on number one, here is one of my smaller packing cubes. And then there's like a fleece night shirt for Shyla, which is pretty bulky. So I put it in here, a pair of my heels. And then this little zip up bag has my hair accessories, like electronic ones. So I have my Dyson hair dryer, hair straightener, and a hairbrush. And I know a common question is, can you take these items in a carry-on? Answer is yes, you can. Not a problem. I've taken it many times and never had an issue carrying these things in my carry-on. And then the back side of this one has another little laundry pouch and this one has Shyla's undergarments and then another one of Shyla's packing cubes and then a couple of her sweaters that I had just washed so they're not in the cube. You want to make sure when you're packing your um, carry-ons that you have items in here that can get you through a day or two if your luggage gets lost. So you want to make sure you have some toiletries and uh, some clothing. Now the reason I don't have any toiletries in here is just because we will be at my mom's so I don't really have to worry about that. But if we are going on an actual vacation then I do make sure I have all those items in my carry-on. Number two we have a Fortnite carry-on which I'm pretty sure you guessed it. It is Riza's. So I have Riza's large packing cube in here plus a little activity book for him And then there's just a little tiny backpack for Myra and then her pajamas 
And then um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in here, but there is space. I might stick one of their winter jackets in here as well, since we do need to take those with us. And then this Shyla wanted to take, it's like a little mini backpack, and she has some of her items in here for the plane. A little word find book that we just picked up from the dollar store. And then she's got this book that she's been reading, um, which is pretty good. And so I want her to do some of this reading on the plane. I don't think she's going to do it in Toronto itself, but at least on the plane. Uh, she's got her little wallet and a scrunchie. And then we have this little, like, it's like a pencil case almost. I use it as a pencil case, but we actually got this from Emirates when we went to Sri Lanka two years ago. And this had the little toothbrush and the slipper socks and... Um, the eye masks that they provide you on long haul flights so I actually kept these we have so many of these because there's you know we got them on the way there and on the way back so I use these for their pencil cases and these cases are from the dollar store and this is what I use to hold all our earbuds some last minute items that I'm just going to throw wherever there's some space this is Myra's portable potty seat it just folds down and goes into this little baggie I got this off Amazon but this is really good for when you're traveling even if you have to go to the mall or something and your kid is potty trained but they can't sit on the toilet seats properly, you can stick this on and uh, take it with you. This is my little traveling pouch. This is what I use to keep all our passports or any type of travel documents that you need to take. Uh, this is mine and Shyla's passports. Riza's is expired so I'm not taking it. And then Myra doesn't have one since she's a COVID baby. She, we haven't been anywhere so she hasn't needed one. Uh, so I'm just taking their birth certificates as identification. Although I find when I travel with the kids within Canada, they've never asked me to show their ID. I just need to provide my own. But this is really handy and it keeps everything organized, boarding passes, whatever you need to, it goes in here. And I keep like lock keys and stuff like that also in the zippered compartments in here as well. I got this up AliExpress, I think like six or seven years ago, and I really feel like it's time for an upgrade. <laughs> So I'm going to be looking for a new one. Recommendations on which one I should get. Okay, so I am about 95% packed. I have everything sitting in a corner just so I know what I have. These items I'm going to stick in in a little while once I open the suitcases back up. And then this is the pile of clothing that we're all wearing on the plane. I make sure I keep these outfits aside just so I know and I don't accidentally pack something and then they wind up with have nothing to wear. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's it for my packing video for Toronto today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was able to help you out a little bit. And I would also love to hear in the comments if you have any tips for me to improve the way I pack my items. Please feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the section down below. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell if you do enjoy my content. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.